The problems with exclusive reliance on a single sex characteristics and indeed the harms of sex testing came to widespread attention in 1985 when the IOC disqualified Spanish hurdler Maria Jose Martinez Patino and officials subjected Martinez Patino to sex testing using chromosomal tests. After officials dumped her chromosomally male and barred her from competition in the World University Games and her results were leaked to the press. She was then dropped by the Spanish Athletics Federation. Her medals and records were withdrawn along with her university scholarship and her boyfriend left her. Three years later, she was reinstated after having challenged the disqualification but by then she had suffered significant harm. For us to know, there are different kinds of disorders of sex development have been observed in athletes from different countries along the history of sport. The detection of an abnormal chromosomal pattern or gonadal dysgenesis has been always associated to the gender verification tests which international sports institutions have performed from 1960s and abandoned as systematic practice in 2000. Such methods have been heavily criticized by specialists of different fields such as genetics, endocrinologists, and psychologists. The use of femininity control at the present day to detect possible males who fraudulently pretend to complete in female-only events is inconsistent. And the possible decision of the International Olympic Committee to establish special centers to manage future DSD cases is also discussed. And a major concern on the confidentiality between doctors and patients in the establishment of care protocols for the psychological support of athletes in such delicate situations is needed. This ties all together with the psychological and social repercussions of the gender verification and the lives of athletes with DSD. When cases of sex ambiguities are detected, issues such as the respect of privacy, the need of specific protocols to follow with flexible and diversified tests considering the particularity of each case, as well as the psychological support of the athletes and their family have to be taken into account. Although health tests are needed for both men and women, DSD athletes should not be discriminated for their genetic pattern and they should be allowed to compete as it occurs with other athletes with genetic affections which do not involve the sex and that give them a phenotypical advantage over other athletes.